Yeah. Hi everyone. So we are continuing functions in this video also. Okay. So let's start with the questions here. First question. F of x plus y is equal to f of x plus f of y. Okay. For all x, this is a function for for. This is right. Read as for. Read as for all x. Okay. X and for all x and y belonging to R. That is real number. Okay. Now f of two is given as seven. I need to find the value of f of twenty six. What is the value of f of twenty six? Right. Okay. Now let's see here. So. This f of x plus y is equal to f x plus f y. This is a special equation, right? We just see what is the general form of this. So general solution for such equation is general solution for such equation is f of x is equal to some k x. So we have got f of two equal to seven. So therefore, f of two is equal to two k. Two k is equal to seven. Therefore, k is equal to Seven by two, so k is equal to what? K is equal to seven by two here. Okay, k is seven by two, right? Okay. Now, if k is seven by two, what value I need here? So we need the value of f of twenty six here, right? Sorry, yeah, f of twenty six value we need here. Okay. So what is the value? What is the value of f of f of twenty six now? So f of x is seven. If f of x is equal to k x. I simply put x equal to twenty six. So if I put x equal to twenty six, that becomes twenty six into k, and this is what k value I got seven by two. So twenty six into seven by two. What is my answer? My answer will be ninety one. So ninety one is the answer for this question, right? I hope it is clear. Okay, let's do few one more question. Same uh, this variety actually, right? Okay, again, if f of x plus y is equal to f of x plus f of y, same thing, right? For all x, x and y belong to real number category. Belongs to real number category. Okay, and f of three is given as twenty nine. So we need to find the value of f of eighty one. What is the value of f of eighty one here? Right? Okay, same thing. So. What is the general solution here? So general solution of this question is basically what f of x is equal to k x. We got f of three twenty nine. So I'll put x equal to three here. So f of three becomes twenty nine k. Okay, that is equal to three because f of three is given as three. Sorry, twenty nine. I'm sorry, sorry. F of three is given as twenty nine here. Okay, so three x is equal to twenty nine, right? So three x is equal to or uh, twenty nine. You saw it, yeah, right. So three k is equal to twenty nine. So therefore, k is equal to twenty nine by three. That value I got right. So I need the value of f of eighty one. So I simply need to put here. I need to put eighty one right. So at f of eighty one, at x equal to eighty one, it becomes. 81k and k already we have 29 by 3, so 29 by 3 into 81 should be the answer. So we'll cancel for 27 times. So 29 into 27 that is I think 783. So 783 should be the answer for this question, right? I hope it is clear, right? So all these general solution kind of question should be clear. Okay. Now let's move to a bit uh, same category, right? But a good question. Uh, okay. This is a question here. So again, same thing. If f of x plus y, but is a good question, right? When once when when I write the question, no, just pause the question and wait for some time and try attempt attempt it, right? Then see solution here. f of x plus y equal to f of x plus f of y for all x and y belonging to natural number here. N means natural number. Okay. f of three is given as six here, and written that summation of 
समेशन ऑफ के इक्वल टू वन टू टेन एंड एफ ऑफ ए प्लस के इज गिवेन एज वन सेवेंटी सो वट यू नीड टू फाइंड यू नीड टू फाइंड वैल्यू ऑफ ए वी नीड टू फाइंड वैल्यू ऑफ ए करेक्ट सो ओके गोइंग बाई दिस इज द इक्वेशन यूर सो गोइंग बाई अवर जनरल सोल्यूशन ओके सो अवर जनरल सोल्यूशन शुड बी वॉट इट शुड बी एफ ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू सम के इन टू एक्स राइट सो इफ एफ ऑफ एक्स इक्वल टू के इन टू एक्स सो वी गिव इन दैट एफ ऑफ थ्री इज इक्वल टू थ्री के दैट इज इक्वल टू सिक्स देयर फॉर के इज इक्वल टू टू देयर फॉर एफ ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू एक्स इज द जनरल सोल्यूशन फॉर दिस काइंड ऑफ दिस काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन राइट तो इफ एफ ऑफ दैट मीन्स कैन सिंपली राइट एफ ऑफ एक्स कैन सिंपली राइट टू ऑफ एक्स एक्चुअली राइट इफ यू हैव एफ ऑफ ए दैट बिकम्स वॉट दैट बिकम्स टू ए राइट दैट मीन्स दैट मीन्स वॉट इफ यू हैव ए एफ ऑफ ए प्लस वन सो इफ एफ ऑफ एक्स इज टू एक्स ट्वाइस ऑफ दिस नंबर राइट ट्वाइस ऑफ एक्स वट इज वट इज एफ ऑफ ए प्लस वन इट इज ट्वाइस ऑफ ए प्लस वन इट इज नथिंग बट जस्ट फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस पार्ट राइट Not relevant with, with question actually, but just for understanding, I told if f of x equal to two x, that means f of a also two a. If I put x, uh, if I put a plus one instead of x, it becomes f of a plus one equal to twice of that, right? Okay. So now the question is, what is the value of this part, right? What is this part actually? This part is f of a plus one. This part is if I put k equal to one here, that becomes f of a plus one. If I put k equal to two here. That becomes f of a plus two. If I put k equal to three here, it becomes f of a plus three, like that, till k equal to ten. So I'll put f of a plus ten. That is equal to one seventy, right? Now what I can do here, I can simply break it, right? Because I know that f of x is two x now. So what is f of a plus one? F of a plus one is twice of a plus one. What is f of a plus two? Twice of a plus two. What is f of a plus three? Twice of a plus three. Correct. So if I take twice as common, so that becomes what? A plus one plus a plus two plus a plus three like that. Till a plus ten. Correct. And this is equal to uh, that value can calculate right. So this is equal to a one seventy. So I need to find the value of a now. So what is the value of a? So if I solve it, I'll get twice of ten a. A plus a plus a is ten times, and one to one plus two plus three till ten is fifty five. That's some fifty five. Twice of ten a plus fifty five is one seventy. Okay. So in this case, twice of uh sorry, ten uh, a plus fifty five is what eighty five, and ten uh, a equal to thirty. Therefore, a is equal to three. So a is equal to three is answer for this question. Okay, so just one step ahead, right? Little little bit more information given. Okay, so that will also work out, right? Now I hope it is clear this part, right? Okay. So once you are thorough with this part, okay, finding a kind of general solution, solution in the function. Okay, then you can move to. Yeah. Then we can move. to even and odd functions okay we should know what are even and what are odd functions even and odd functions okay so what is even function even function what is even function right so even function are basically functions right if you replace x with minus x in f x, then result is f of x only. These are called even functions, right? Moreover, even functions are right. Graph of should write here graph of even functions. Okay, graph of even function are symmetric about y axis are symmetric about y axis okay so two things here even even function replace x with minus x 
and then result is fx only okay second thing graph of an even function is always symmetric about y axis okay now it is odd function then okay so odd function basically means what if i replace if i replace x with minus x in ff in fx then result is basically if i replace x with minus x in fx right then basically the result, result is minus fx only minus fx right so this is what this is odd functions right and odd functions are graph of odd functions are symmetric about where graph of even function symmetric about y axis don't think like that the graph of odd function is symmetric about x axis no graph of odd functions are symmetric about origin right about from origin they are symmetric for example i'll take few examples here don't worry right for example you draw the graph of y equal to x square what, what is x square even or odd it's an even function right because if i replace x with minus so f of x here is is equal to x square okay now what is the graph here for x square if you see here the graph of x square will be like this sorry touching this part okay so graph of x square will look like this so this is what is x square it's an even function actually right so even function means what they are symmetric about y axis okay you just keep a mirror at y the so whatever is happening at the left same thing same thing in mirror image it will appear at right okay and then we have y equal to x cube also let's see okay so y is equal to x cube is an odd function y is equal to x cube is an odd function okay so if y is x cube is an odd function graph will be symmetric about about the origin right so graph looks like this here from origin it goes up up here and then down here for negative values right so it is symmetric about origin okay not of not about x not about y okay so y equal to x cube is an odd function fine if i replace x with minus x i'll get minus sign only wow. so we should we should remember this right so odd function and even function okay same way we have a composite function also okay and then we can do questions in next video about that uh, in, the, in these parts right so we have composite functions also now what is mean by composite function here right for example you check just understand the fund funda here a function f of x is basically x square a function g of x is basically 1 plus x so i want to calculate what is what is fog x from here so what is fog x actually fog x means f of fx sorry f of gx this also can be written as f of gx this is the meaning of fog x right and this is what basically f of 1 plus x so i'm trying to calculate the value of f of 1 plus x right so simply in place of x i'll replace by 1 plus x it becomes 1 plus x whole square this value becomes 1 plus x whole square right I can also calculate j of of j of x. What is what is j of x means actually? Can sense it now. It means g of f x. G of f x, right? So what is g of f x here? G I put here. What is f x here? X square. So I'm calculating what? I'm calculating g by g of x square. What is g x? G x is one plus x. I have to simply vary 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 x here to replace with that x square. So it becomes what? It becomes one plus x square. Correct? I hope it is clear, right? For this function, है ना? If I want to calculate what is f square x, what is f square x, right? So f square is nothing but it basically means that f has occurred two times. So it basically means that I have to calculate f of f x, right? So f square means calculating f of f x. If we have something like this, f of cube x, it is calculated as f of f of again f of x. 
okay so uh, f square x is equal to f of uh, f into fx okay we derive this result here uh, so uh, what is the value now f of f of uh, this one one to calculate what is fx here x square okay so x square so simply what i'll do in place of x i'll put x square so what is the number here x in place of x x square so again square is there this square is again left out right so whatever is in place of x i'm replacing by x square that becomes what that becomes x raised to 4 similarly f of cube x right so what is f of cube x now it is written that written as f of f square x you got the value of f square x how much it is x raised to 4 so i need to calculate f of x raised to 4 actually so what is x raised to 4 now so f of uh, x raised to 4 f of x is x square so x is raised to 4, 4 is what x raised to 4 is square that is x raised to 8 that should be the value for f cube x okay so there's a basic funda behind uh, behind uh, this uh, composite function and even and odd function okay so in next video we'll do the questions related to this funda okay thank you for watching